So first day of the Warwick Cross Country Week. Blue day. Task is Pittsworth, Killarney. We're going to stay local today. Just get people orientated. All the guys up from Boona. And that's how they go. See the day gets on. So I had a quite a lively tow. Um, plenty of uh, lift around during the tow. So. I just jagged this 5.4 uh, knot thermal just to the north of the airfield here, just climbing through uh, 4,000 feet now. Yeah, so the task is uh, north to Pittsworth. And then, oh, here we have another glider, didn't come up from the farm. Uh, what's he doing? going down at a rate of knots. Oh yeah, now he's, I think, went into the, my thermal, so let's see what he does. Four. Oh, flying straight. I thought he would have turned now. Maybe he's going to turn now. Uh, no, I'm going to turn, because... Nope. No point flying straight out of this. Yeah, so he's flying down straight. So I got low at uh, Clifton airstrip here, which is just on my nose. Um, about uh, 1800 AGL, I think, probably. And thermals are a bit blown. I mean, um, the wind is between 12 and 16 knots, so the thermals are a bit breaking and, and uh, not easy to find the core. So there's different airstrip there, you can see the hangers on the grass strip. So that was my bomb out option in case uh, I had to land. If the fez wouldn't work, but uh, I'm gonna stick with this thermal I've got here. It's uh, two and a half, three knots, and one point six. No, one point six. Well, it's the best I can do with at the moment, so I'll stick with it and see how this develops. Uh, the wind is. Um, yeah, west southwest to looking at it. So it's blowing from that direction there. Come on, where are you? Core? So, anyway, I've got to back to a reasonable height now. I'm just climbing through four and a half thousand, so uh, next destination will be Pittsworth. Dan's well ahead. I don't think I'll be able to get anywhere near him today. Started late and uh, got low, so so he's out in that direction over there somewhere towards Darling Down Soaring Club. Oh, there's Pittsworth, just I can see coming on my nose now. I've got glide into Pittsworth now, 46 above circuit height. That's good. Well, just would like to see if I can. This thermal must be on oh, there, hello. Birds there, but they're just on cruise. They're not thermal in. Uh, I would like to really get the best of this thermal before I push off, so I'm going to try and concentrate on that for the min next few minutes. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's going three knots. Uh, okay, okay, so... Yeah, that's what I found earlier. Down, down low they're pretty scrappy, but uh, once they get above uh, 4,000 they start to get a bit more organised. Having said that, now I've lost the core again. I shouldn't speak too soon. Let's see you there. 
Well, it's, so far today it's been a real struggle. I'm uh, now north of Pittsworth and heading towards Darling Down Soaring Club. That's uh, 37 kilometers straight ahead. And um, yeah, I just can't seem to jug into these thermals, get the core, climb nice and, and yeah, you know, and, and push on. I just seem to be just all over the place. The wind is um, definitely a factor here and it's um, just sort of breaking up the thermals as they, uh, as they rise, so it's making life a bit difficult. Um, maybe it's going to be better on the flats ahead. So, let's see. Well, so far I just haven't had anything. Um, now 2,000 foot AGL down there, so I'm heading towards this rise here because that should be into wind and uh, oh hello. Get this thermal, let's have a look. Uh, see it's yeah just not consistent. Yeah. So I had to turn the fan on, cruising uh, towards Pittsworth and uh, just need a bit more power. So I've got 75 kilometers to run to Kalani down in the uh, southeast, and I uh, had to use the fez to get out of that sticky spot that I was in down to a thousand AGL. So it wasn't worth the risk of uh, trying to push on and trying to find a, a thermal lower than that. So now. Um, I've got a decent climb here, uh, just coming up between Pittsworth and Clifton, and now climbing through 5,300 feet. I think this is almost the highest I've been all afternoon. It's been a real struggle. And I can't quite work out. I think it's just the wind. Because um, otherwise the conditions are look, looking really good. The visibility is just amazing. You know, you can see Bunyas there in the distance, uh, quite clearly. Uh, there's Toowoomba with some back burning down the bottom part of the range. Get clearing the uh, fuel on the ground. And just looking at the, the range, you can just pick out all the detail. It's just amazing. Look at this visibility. It's just spectacular. So Dan, as usual, is well ahead of me. He's, uh, I think he must be between Warwick and Killarney now. So, no, oh, that was quite a decent... Uh, this climb's not quite over, but um, I've got uh, just under five and a half, so I'm quite happy with that. So I think I'll push on. I've got Glide into Warwick as well, so... That's always good as a fail safe in case I uh, don't get any lift. Heading towards Kalani, you can always just take a right hand turn and fly straight into Warwick. Yeah, I can just see it in the distance there on the right. So, yeah. And that must be yeah, 37 kilometers. So, that's not too bad. Coming up to Clifton here on my on my left, and track between Clifton and Warwick, making a head in towards Killarney. So, glider back in the hangar. End of the day. Uh, yeah, a bit of a challenging day. Three times with the fez. So, all good. Pan out.
later in the week.